See, for premature ejaculation, it's always good not to be ashamed of it and dis discuss it with your partner. Okay, very, very good. Because the moment, see, understanding fixes everything. Mm. They understand. Now you're, you're no longer pressurized. You're no longer pressurized. They understand. I'm going to give my best, but I try. Foreplay is very important for people who have premature ejaculation. Very, very, very important. Or they can't keep it hard long enough and stuff like that. You know, you want to you know, use oral sex. You want to use the fingers. You want to use all of that stuff. And there are loads of happy couples living out there where the husband has premature ejaculation, the wife understands and they figured ways mm. around it. And there are couples that fall apart because they built their whole relationship based on sex and pleasure and stuff mm. like that. Okay, thrusting is very, very, it, you can look at it differently. Everyone's different. That's why I feel when you are making love to a woman, you have to be so included. If you're only thinking that, oh shit, am I as good as that guy I saw in the porn video today? Am I performing well? Does she like it? You're missing out on the signals from her. Hmm. So you decide your thrust pace based on her body language, hmm. based on the sounds she's making. And a woman will communicate and always ask, they like to be asked. Hmm. Like, you know, do you want it harder? Do you want it faster? Is it going well? And, and every guy, she says, it's just don't stop. It's beautiful. Hmm. You've got the pace. That's what you want. Hmm. So communication is everything because today she wants it hard. Tomorrow she wants it slow. You, you know, it's different all the time. But porn hmm. teaches you, bang, like 